you know the nearest ice cream shop? Actually, I keep an ice cream zone map of Berkeley in my back pocket. An ice cream zone map? What's that? This map splits Berkeley into zones depending on which ice cream shop is nearest. According to my calculations, if we are standing right here in Berkeley, we should go to Sprinkles. Oh, I live here, in the icicle zone. But what does it mean if I'm on one of these lines? That means you're the same distance from two ice cream shops. I call those the lines of indecision. If you're on a line, you can't decide which ice cream shop to go to. That sounds like a tough problem. How do you make an ice cream zone map? You draw the lines of indecision between every pair of ice cream shops. For example, let's take sprinkles and icicles. Draw the line connecting sprinkles and icicles. Find the point exactly halfway in the middle of that line. Then draw another line through the halfway point that is perpendicular to the connecting line. Mathematicians call this new line the perpendicular bisector of sprinkles and icicles. If you do that for every pair of ice cream shops and put your lines together, you'll get your ice cream zone map. Let's go put this theory into practice. What a nice day. Maddie, do you want to go to the beach? Sure. See you at the nearest point on the shoreline. Oh no! Maddie didn't tell me how to find the nearest point on the shoreline. She only told me how to find the nearest ice cream shop. The shoreline has infinitely many points, but there are only finitely many ice cream shops. Let me start by pretending that there are four ice cream shops on the shoreline and see what the zones are then. Now I know that my nearest point is somewhere in here, but it's still going to be pretty hard to find Maddie. If I add six ice cream shops, then the zones get narrower. Now I know that my nearest point is somewhere in here. If I have more and more ice cream shops, then the zones get narrower and narrower. In fact, if we have an ice cream shop on every point of the shoreline, then the zones become lines. Each line touches the shoreline in exactly one place, so we can find the exact nearest point on the shoreline. Oh, there you are. Looks like your calculations worked out.